Hey guys, Steve here with Scroll Saw Workshop. Got another little tabletop game for you tonight. Uh, it's a pretty simple game, but uh, pretty fun too. And I'm calling it Arches. Uh, that's an old 1950s era game. I've changed it up quite a bit. I've made it a tabletop much smaller. Um, and I've set up some scoring systems here uh, to make things a little more challenging. Uh, each person has three discs to start out with. And the shooter, the disc set up in the shooter like this. We've got five arches down here. This one's worth three points. These are worth two points. These are worth one point. And every time you roll and you take those points, you put your scoring peg in however many points that uh, you get. You have to end exactly on the number 12 scoring slot. If you do not hit the number 12 scoring slot, if you go over, you have to go back to number one. Okay, let's start a game. We'll start with uh, player one here on the left. Load the uh, puck up into the shooter. Roll it off. That's a zero. We didn't make it into any of the arches. You have to leave that puck on the game board. That's a two. We count that. If it goes in and rolls out, that counts. And that's a zero. So player one scored two points. They put their peg, their scoring peg, in the number two slot. Play passes over to player two. That's a one. That's a two. And a two. So that would be a total of five. Player two takes their scoring peg. One, two, three, four, five. Play continues back and forth until one of the two players lands their peg in the number 12 position and does not go over. They are the winner. The tabletop game is cut entirely from one quarter inch thick Baltic versus plywood. The pucks are cut and sanded until they're nice and round. The shooter is three layers of Baltic birch plywood. The center layer has a little slot right there to hold the piece. When you make these pucks, they're gonna be one quarter inch and so is the middle layer of the shooter. So you need to sand down each side of the puck just a little bit so it rolls smoothly in the shooter. The board has 12 Scoring holes drilled one quarter inch in diameter on each side. The arches and the chutes back here for the pieces are all also one quarter inch thick. Everything is put together with slot and tab. You can see the tabs going through the slots in the back. If you want, you can extend the length of this board as far as you want. Uh, it is already pretty challenging, even at this distance right here. So if you go back, you might be prepared for the games to take quite a while. An alternative scoring system would be to eliminate the having to end on the number 12 slot. Uh, just the first person to reach 12 points is a winner. That makes the game go uh, quite a bit faster. 